Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial from the Photog Formula. I'm Nate Lawson and today we're going over part two of smoke photography. Uh, if you haven't gone over part one, I suggest you do that before viewing this video. You can find it uh, if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, the link is over in the sidebar and if you're already on my blog the link to part one is at the top of the post. Uh, part one will show you exactly how I set up for these shots, uh, giving you an idea of where I put the light, uh, the camera, etc. So it's a, a good idea to check that out first. If you've already done so, then welcome to part two. In this part, I'm going to go over the post-processing techniques that I use uh, in order to bring out a little more of the smoke. So, let's go ahead and get started. I already have it open here in Lightroom. And this is untouched minus the cropping. I did crop it down to the area I wanted to show. Uh, but I have yet to mess with any of the sliders. So, to get going, what I first like to do, I did shoot the smoke up against a black um, background. But, I do like to pump up this black a little bit more uh, just to darken it up some if you go a little too far you can always come back with the fill light and see how it doesn't touch the black but it does bring out uh, more of the smoke um, brightness you can always increase the brightness just a tad and I always like to bump the clarity up quite a bit you can see the difference here whoops it's uh, really fuzzy I like really sharp so about 80 I don't know maybe that's a bit much there we go I always like to take the uh, the vibrance up too this um, these colors that you see here are actually from the smoke there was no gels on the strobe there was no uh, other kind of light filter or colored filter uh, these are the natural colors coming from the smoke which is pretty cool so I also bumped up the saturation a little bit uh, as well so that's about as far as I go within Lightroom I don't mess with any of the uh, the other settings besides what's under the basic tab so once this is done you can export it and go into um, your favorite uh, photo editor I've already done so to save time so we'll just skip on over there let's close that and open that there we go you can see uh, that it's the same wow go figure okay so let's get started with the fun stuff um, first of all I always like to come over here drag this layer down to uh, the new layer icon so I have a new working copy here and then the first thing I want to do is get rid of these um, stray uh, smoke trails here so hitting the command plus key I can increase this to a hundred percent now you can really see that uh, there's a couple ways of doing this you can either create a new layer underneath that one fill it with black go back up here and do a layer mask make sure you have your brush Wow, and then just brush these out okay that's one way alright now the other way if I command E both of these then um, I can just grab the brush tool and paint directly on this layer and that does the same thing your choice sometimes it's better to do a mask that way you can always go back to it later and bring some more of that out now I'm going fairly quick here uh, just to save time on the video not being too terribly picky but that looks that looks pretty good right there alright so let's uh, back up a bit here expand my working area again okay so that's uh, step one there we got rid of a lot of those stray areas that already looks a little bit better 
Now I want to pump up the color a little bit more, so I'm going to come up here to the Vibrance Adjustment Layer and increase this uh, Vibrance quite a bit. I really like that blue and some of those purple shades coming through. I'm also going to increase the saturation a bit. Not too bad, not too bad. Command or Control E will merge that with the lower layer. Now, let's, uh, there's a the beginning and here's after. We can still do a little bit more to this image. So I'm going to do is, I'm going to, once again, copy that layer. I'm going to turn this background. <laughs> that absolutely made no sense whatsoever, Nate. Okay, throw that one in the trash. I want to copy layer one. There we go. Now I'm going to, with this uh, first layer selected, screen. Okay, see how that brightened that up quite a bit? I don't necessarily want it that bright, so I'm going to add a layer mask. I'm going to lower my opacity down to 50% range and then just start uh, painting over some of these areas and I like to go in kind of the uh, the back area now I'm not going to do it as much as I normally would just to uh, once again save time but you get the idea of what I'm doing <laughs> I hope you get the idea uh, but what I'd like to do with this see and um, is make it look more three-dimensional make give it a little more depth so if I go over these dark areas uh, then it really darkens them up some it really looks like a skull or a skeleton alright let's increase this I am going to bring back now you can notice some of these areas right here I actually just pointed at my monitor like you could see me okay so these areas right here once we use the screen see how it really darkened those up so what I'm gonna do is increase the opacity a bit more 70 or so and come over and paint back those now you can see we really and go ahead and and do this uh, so you can see the before and after and that will give you some ideas maybe where you'd like to bring back some more of those details okay so once again we have the before image and the after and I really like that so I'll command E once again bring back that background and this is what we started with and this is what we ended up with very very simple and that's it I did not need to play with any of the colors except for to uh, pump up the the saturation and vibrance of them because it's really neat how the smoke automatically or naturally has these blue and purple and kind of orange uh, colors in them I really like this one. This is where I'm going to leave it. And that concludes part two of this smoke photography tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please, I'd love to read them. If you've done this yourself, I'd love to see some, some images. Or if you have a different way of doing it, I'd also like to know about that. So thanks for watching. And until the next tutorial, this is Nate. Take care. I'll see you later.